amazing. I feel great. Monday, ready to go work for a week. And you? Same here. Yeah, ready for the week to start. <laughs> yeah. So how has uh, Yoshi Jobs been going? There's been a, a lot happening. Yeah, it's amazing. It's how I, I'm just I'm just trying to catch up with it all, right? Because like my community is so intelligent and, and they're amazing. So they're just keep doing their thing. Um, you know, as you as you know, Yoshi Drops is uh, you know um, founded by M Blue and a Legend R team, um, and the, uh, led along with the uh, Corey from um, Uplift That World, the Metaverse. Um, those are my family. Uh, I love the fact that now I'm on Discord every day and, and engaging with my community, and um, also um, uh, the tokenized NFT thing from uh, Kate. Uh, allows uh, me to uh, back token um, with the NFT, and that's a new technology. No one ever done it before. Um, you know, with the, with the first one, with the uplift team, and 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 then, and then, but the amazing thing is is scalable, and uh, you can definitely do whitelisting pretty easily, at low cost. So I want to see how is this whole technology. I mean, it's Yoshi Box and Yoshi Drops and, and the music thing is very important to me too. But uh, I think uh, where this this whole thing going to take us as as uh, as we, you know, more people use, right? Because it, it's, it's obviously cheap and the more economical to just mint a bunch of NFT and then back it with a number and then you can trade it, right? And then that's total yeah. DeFi. Then, then, then trying to uh, spend, you know, a quarter million trying to register your token, like crypto, and pay a bunch of developers to, you know, it is it, it takes a lot. But this way, it just snap a finger. I mean, it does have like the risk part of it, like how you you are always like linked in with Wax. But we're trying stuff, right? So it could be like more broad way to use it, but it, it's. I'm amazed it's working, you know, and yeah. it, it works. It works. Oh, so mine it's work too. So I know you have some Yoshi coins, liquidity. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> I was amazed by how fast it was. I don't yeah. know why. I thought it would take a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because you know, because because the proof of stake changed. So it's light. It's it's light and just fast. Yeah, I've been spending too much time on Ethereum. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not really hating on Ethereum, but um, I think there is a still a big issue with proof of work stake and proof of proof of work NFTs because you can't really evolve, right? Without without thinking about this residual, like a gas cost, this fee, you can't really evolve, like how I'm doing it. Like we can mint a hundred thousand NFT and then back it with a hundred thousand number and then start trade. You can't do that with the with the with the proof of work. So um you know. Yeah, it's very true. And like it yeah, like proof of work doesn't scale the same way that proof of stake can. Definitely. Well, you know, uh, if you notice this, Wax used to be on Ethereum, right? When it first started. So when you look, when you look at a graph, when you look at a price chart, it was like five, six dollars in 2016. And then they jumped shit and then went to proof of stake token. And then it just went to six cents or like four cents, right? Because they have to do that to um, make it scalable, right? So that's the price valuation. And then I think every chain that used to be on, on proof of work chain and then they switched to proof of stake chain, they did they have to do that move price wise, right? So to, to make it uh, I don't know why, but they you know they have to um justify the price or something, justify the, the system, right? So my fear is that if Ethereum moved to 2.0 like they say they're gonna do it for like 100 years right um if they do it i think the same price 
validation is going to happen to them too, right? Say, say $3,000 to like $30. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's why they back, they're asking the original stakers to back their second token for like 30 billion or whatever, like a crazy amount of money that they can justify the cost or they pump it or something. But because if, if you see all the, um, proof of, um, stake token prices are, are pretty similar. Like, you know, Cardano, four, five, like three, four, the two, two, you know, all this, uh, e e EOS, they all, they all kind of like similar price range. So if you think, if you think of if we see them going from $4,000 to $7, <laughs> think, think about that. Think about that for NFT holders, right? So I don't think they can do it. I mean, it would make the fees, I guess it would be proof of stake, so it'd be. Yeah, so there's no going to be no fees, yeah. but at the price um, justification is going to happen, right? So let's say it's going to be from, you know, it's not going to go up. Because you're just making it scalable. So it's going to go down. Price, you have to justify that change in the chain, right? So Yeah, and that, like price kind of I don't of think like, they can do it because a I lot remember. of money a lot of money is parked on based on NFTs on Ethereum. I know. Um I, I don't think they can they can move them and then give them the same value on the second. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Because like they're gonna be left to dust kind of. But they can't do it because they're parking a lot of money there. So I mean, if you, so th I think this my theory is like, but the, so you notice this, like you will never find Ethereum foundation people in an NFT event. You know why? Because they, it's conflict their interest, right? Yeah. And, and they know that if they, they know that if they do what they promising people to do, then, then they're going to have the NFT people is going to be the casualties, I think. And they know this. So, um, yeah, man, wax, here we come, we, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's we're, we're We've been doing just, it for years, like, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, NFT Loco in the chat is saying NFTs will be on Immutable X. It's not a bad point. Yeah. Um, it definitely helps with ETH scaling, but I think... You bring up a good point of the price. That's going to be really interesting to watch. Sort of like you can't keep a shit is the same. It's a different chain. Like yeah, this this a system, right? Because the entire system based on that authentication, the price is there. Because it's it, proof of work token. When you move one thing, everybody got to fucking make the notes, everyone that is participating, right? So that's why the price is there, like that. But stake ones that like you can't, it's like, I think um, it's interesting. See, I don't think, I don't think they can do it, man. It's good though. It's good for, it's good for wax, I guess. Yeah. But it's not like we're perfect. You know what I mean? But. <laughs> It'll definitely take like a lot of, um, I guess, like, I'd say maybe community support, like. Yeah, you know, um, right, na right now, cash, like banks and fiat people, they're not really worrying about crypto people, but it's going to be a time in the future that they're going to have to worry about it, right? And then I don't, I don't know how it's really going to roll out in this, like at this time, because it's not localized. This is first time in like history that it's, it's the wealth is like accumulating based on not the logical or not, not the location. It's, it's, it's based on, based on like, it's a global scale. It's all over the world. So you can, you can, you can apply IRS's you know, you can't apply a United States tax thing to the different country that it's doing a different thing. Like, so it's, there's no way like you, we, it's gonna take so much to like figure this out. 
and I don't know, I don't know if people, everyone's gonna be calm, and then figuring thing out like we're friends, or like it's gonna be like arrest, or like even worse, like conflict. <laughs> yeah, that would. Uh, I you hope know? it goes calm route. <laughs> um, it's it's. I don't. I think we'll figure itself out. But I don't know what to make sense of it. This whole thing. It's just so big. Like. Sometimes I'm like so happy that I found my way to like utilize my music. But end of the day, like, you know, I I I've been in the music industry for 20 years, and then you know I'm I'm always like trying to figure out how to service artists the best best way. Because end of the day, label like I work for big label too, but labels there because we they they serve the artist the best way, right? I don't care how um. I don't care how many independent artists say because you know, like labels are gatekeepers or big businesses are bad for the music, but it's it's not because it's different music consumption for different people, right? Because some people really care about music and they buy the album and they play it and and go to concert, but some people only listen to music when they're drunk, right? Some people only listen to music in between the halftime show, and and that's the only time you kind of like really hear about the artist name, right? This, this goes for so many people. So for them, the big business have to be there because like it's same thing with like with food. Like when you go to the supermarket, it's it's only five candy bars, right? Or six candy bars. Like, but you can make thousand candy bars if you want. Like if if you if you are a specialist with chocolate, you know how to make thousand different products. But in a supermarket, it's a sugar corn syrup, syrup written six different candy bars because the big business decided those are the best tasting candy bars for the mass, right? Trying to trying to create the one hat that fits all. So I hate this I need to step away for like one minute because I locked my girlfriend out of the apartment. I will be uh, right back. Don't get in trouble. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We tell it. I'm like looking at you guys. I don't know how many people I know, but I'm like invading Shanika's live. Sorry about that. I can't hear you. Are you still muted? You can hear me? Can you hear me now? No, not yet. Um, Maybe your headphones unplugged? I'm not sure. Can you hear me though? I can't hear you at all. I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it Hello. says it's coming through. Yeah, I think they can. They can hear me. It's weird. What happened? Maybe something <laughs> with mine. Oh. Did you mute me? No. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good now. There you go. You got it? Okay. You live with your girlfriend? She's like your fiance then kinda. Yeah, pretty much. So like move like like you guys move around together? Because like you just moved, right? Yeah. Yeah, we move around together. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's good for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> General mode just spelled it a little wrong though. <laughs> But yeah, I'm 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 excited. This like this this uh, this like we don't know this space. Like no one knows, right? Like no, you can study so much about this, but no one knows where it's gonna go. So yeah, um, I sh I think it's gonna be really interesting to watch that price discovery. Do you think that like plays into why it's taken so long to move to proof of stake? Is that only reason, man? you i'm telling you because i mean it's felt I, like there's something dragging its feet like yeah i mean i don't i don't need i don't i don't need to know any of the people in the ethereum business to see 
what I'm saying. Like, it, it's it's because it's always the front thing and then it's always the back thing, right? So, yeah. you know, whatever happens in the real back end, that's why we all see the, see the um, effect of that happening. So it goes for everything, right? So, so I'm looking at it like, yeah, he, they stuck. <laughs> they stuck, for sure. Ethereum stuck, man. They stuck. Yeah. And I mean, I mean they're, 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 they're good. They're good at what they are. They're good at what they are, right? But we have, we have something better that works better. So they can yeah. park the money there. You know, it's kind of like you can use the stone money, but people using paper money. So we're using paper money, right? I know it's like fast for Ethereum. <laughs> it's like the crypto world is so fast, but different type of money, isn't it? You know? So. Yeah. And I like. No, no one's minting fucking NFT on, block, on the Bitcoin. You can't do it, right? Because you, you're supposed to park that shit, you know? Yeah. And that would be extremely expensive. <laughs> right. So Ethereum, same yeah. shit. So they, you know, so, so, so that's what they, you know. They were good at that what they were doing because they we, with them proof of stake was born, right? Because they figure out because it doesn't work. So then, then they made a better chain that I can authenticate shit. So we have better stuff. Should use it, that's all. NFT logo is saying that people say wax uh is not decentralized enough. What do you think? Um I think because uh I'm not sure. I'm not like I can't. I can't lie or just say whatever I want because I I don't know. You know, I don't know the true story. I don't know the true story. I guess oh. maybe it comes like the guilds. Maybe that's not entirely decentralized because. But I mean, it it still gets voted on in a yeah centralized way. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to start explaining. I, I think I think um I think true DeFi like a true DeFi you can do it with money. <laughs> like if you think about the money, like if you think about the money part of it, it's you it, like somebody have to have that that big big part part of it to be be stable. Right? That's not already DeFi. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like any money or any anything, any value, anything, one person is holding or like few of them holding the most. So that's why the market is stable, right? Because what if I hold 25% of the entire Japanese yen or something and then I decide to just like sell it. <laughs> like it's just the whole thing is gonna crash. Right? Yeah, it would not go over well. And that would like you'd have to sell it slowly. People who holding it is incentivized to hold it because that's how you keep the value. Like so that's already is not a DeFi. If you if you like if you really doing that doing the um analogy of DeFi. Because, like it's kind of incentivizing centralized capitalism. Owner and the DeFi don't go together it's, it's not it's not the same thing at all like it, DeFi is the hope like a wish it's like a wish right <laughs> it is like the wish of like oh we wish the world over everyone have the same amount of but like like you know i always talk about this with my friend just because you take the head of some bad group it doesn't mean that everybody else underneath is going to do a better job you know what I mean? It's like a Middle East, like, 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 or like anything, or like the bad neighborhood. Like, just because you arrest all the drug dealers in a bad neighborhood, it doesn't mean that 12 years is going to turn into drug dealers after, you know? Yeah. So it's, like, it's yeah. like, it's an education thing. So, and the education takes, and the cost the most and takes a long time. But it's important, man. Yeah, I think that's definitely something that's really important in the crypto space, especially is 
education. Like always, it's always gonna be someone needing that money more than anybody else. Always. And then they're gonna do anything they can to get the most amount. That's what the you know capitalism is about. And um, it doesn't matter. Like you, we can give up today. Someone else gonna do it. Like it's not. It's 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 almost important to we all should know. We should all be aware of that person who trying to take it all. I think if we all together stop that one or two person that have a really bad intention to take it all, then then we're gonna have a better, better community. I feel like it, like you wouldn't even need to stop them. Just like educate. Yeah, let them know that they can't do that. You know. Yeah. But it's always a way. Like stock market had a way for a few people to make all the money so the, the government always have to keep spend like printing money, right? And and and, and crypto same shit because look at look at uh, um look at our planet. I'm not I'm not down in our planet, but look at look at how go way up and it's not it's unhealthy price and then you know it's gonna go down. And then if you a person who running our planet, would you take the money out because it's going to go down anyway? Or would you going to just go down with them slowly and then lose everything? Yeah, you of course you're going to take the money out, right? It's this and it, it, you can you can call it rug pull whatever you want, but it's you know I don't know. It's it's like a behavior. Like people need it, right? Someone people some someone always have to pay that rent or or, or mortgage. Yeah. It's so. True. Yeah. Just to pay. Okay. You, you know, it, it takes it takes more than the um, needs and wants to, I think, govern the community. I think that's what it is, really is, man. Because you know, you notice this. Like every time you put out like collection or do anything, it, even like have a have a chat over community people. Somebody always saying the price this price that it was up and it was down. Always somehow somebody's always talk about some price, right? But it, that's that's not how it's supposed to be. Because if we all do chip in and we all do together, then then price is gonna go up, <laughs> right? But but we can't do it in the community where people are about that only because they're not contributing to anything. And Mercy TV says treason is illegal, but United States exists now. I guess because we were formed out of treason, sort of. It's not, it's, it's not, it's nothing bad about it. It's, you know, I yeah. mean, if, 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 if one, if one is allowed to take all from everybody and everybody else gonna suffer and die and stuff like they yeah it's, it's allowed to do it it's just doing it <laughs> you know they do it they did it they've been doing it every you know every course of history so it's always gonna do it and no matter you can do, you can say blockchain anything you want but always people gonna trying to wiggle you your to, way out like hoarding stuff i think of bug's life do you know that movie yeah i love that yeah <laughs> like the grasshoppers hoarding everything and then the ants having yeah. to stand up i feel like that <laughs> I, I don't know yeah. how like much of a cartoon it was yeah but i'm telling you man people who have it all they're not tr they're they're not trying to take it from you <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, they don't try to take it from you. They just have it. Like they happen to have it. Like, you know. I mean, unless you're like a, I don't know, like a pharmaceutical executive or something, and then then maybe you're taking it. But it's still oh. they they were like you still have to work fucking hard, man. You know, like so 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 if if you're in that position man like head like hats off off to them like you know if, you, if you're in a position making 10 million 20 million 30 million a year and you're making a deal no matter the cost like yeah man you know there's like thousands of people doing that right so um 
yeah, I, I don't think they're going to be cool with crypto. You think so? I don't, I don't think so. It's, it's more, it's because they can make more with cash, right? Because the system, like the, like a the capitalism, the, all this fiat thing have to be in place to make their money. So, you know, crypto is kind of messing that shit up. Definitely. Big yeah. time, yeah. you know? Especially too. So it's like, well, like a transfer of wealth, like, you know, like in the twenties, there was like a gold rush and then certain amount of people made all the money. Yeah. And then, and then the, and then like Europe became like really poor. And, and then that, that, that starts like the world war thing. Right. So, um, shit is crazy. We have to be careful. Like we can't just go, 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 go. And then realize like we suck up the bunch of like resources from certain group or region or, 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 or people or community. And then we're gonna have some conflict, man. Yeah, I didn't think about like how it could result in actual, like real life conflicts that would Is be. It, so, I mean, probably like not, not right now, but in the future, right? Listen, right now we're like a bunch of nerds, maybe like yeah. 10,000 people, right? Or maybe like less than 100,000, I think. Like they're really doing it for real, but that's a lot of people, man. If you think about it, if you're like 20,000 people doing something together, that's like, that's a nation. It's like an army. But um, I think 90% people are in for the money. So I can't, I, or, or they don't care, you know, rather. Yeah, I think that that pops up a lot. Um, a lot of people just I mean, worry like, about that investment part so much. Like, yeah to i gain so much by building like i gain so much by just letting people have what i'm allowed like what i what i what i can give or like you know what i can be a part of i can't program but i can make music right so it's you know i donated it pretty much like i let people use it whatever they want like i i love it right because you they using my music like that's that's the best feeling in the world but um People should do more to try to do do something instead of like sit on their ass and like complain about the the prices because they're not doing shit in it. Then, like I don't care how much money you parked in. Like if you're just in there for the up and down and shit, just watching the fucking wave come and goes, like, and just sit on the beach, man. You know, just watch the wave go come by and shit. Just we got you know, there's some people doing so much. Like damn, like. Can other people do it too? Like, cause one person can do that much. Like people who complain about the prices, they can do something. Yeah, you know? everybody contribute. And I think that's something that happens a lot in wax is. Yeah, I, well, that one thing I like about the wax is the kinship. A certain thing I don't like about it, a wax too, but I don't know if I wanna talk about it right now, but. <laughs> 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 Maybe we need it on a stream. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's very, I think more females should use wax, but, but you know, like what I worry about is that just because it's crypto, everything linked up so hard, right? Because like, we can not just have the system of like me making music. And then everybody have a points and like, yay, we have fun. Like we can't do that because like it's everything's linked in with like the money, like the price, everything is locked in. Obviously, which is, I love it. We have to do that. But then, you know, if Fiat do some shit, then then everyone gonna pull out from Wax, right? If, if Wax moons like fucking $1, everybody gonna take every sub coins out, right? Because let, let's say you hold in thousand Yosh coins and then, and then you, and then the value is like 2000 wax right now or 2,500 or something. And then that 2,500 wax worth of Yosh coin you're holding, you, all of a sudden wax go from 30 cents to $3. You have to take Yosh coins off from Yosh coin and then go back to wax. Right? Yeah. Because and you have, you, Cause, cause, cause then you're going to lose all the money. Like when wax go up, 
your every sub coin is gonna tank, right? Because that's the price valuation. So you know, I I don't like that. Be out to be honest. <laughs> Uh, at this point stage of game but you know in, in, but, it, but if you flip the game if i'm the biggest coin of all sub coin like your everyone in the world knows yoshi coin and not even wax then i have like better hand like i my I, like all the power to me then you know what i mean because i can call shot like wax price is gonna be validated because of me right if 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 one sub coin is like so powerful yeah that's kind of an argument for like moving off chain um yeah or not not necessarily off chain but like multi -chain. Get, get your own but i can't wait for that you know and because it's work it's working i'm not all about like i want to have my own it's a it's an illusion b <laughs> especially in the digital asset world people are fucking bugging me bugging man it's crazy it's not like you have this tower of a castle and then you saying like it's mine, right? You have your crypto own crypto coin and then you want it because it's yours. Like it doesn't even make sense. It, do you, it doesn't make sense to you? <laughs> like the way people are saying like it's mine or like we have to make our own something, blah, 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 like that thing. Like it's crazy to me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it like, it's the community, I guess. Like, the token isn't really anyone's, per se. It's a like. script. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to the, um, I want to live to see this, right? Um, that everyone has that their own token, automatic. Everyone has their NFTs. Everyone is reviews on NFTs. And I think that's going to happen, period. You know, like I, what I really, what I really think the really good use case of crypto is that if, if, if all the manual work, labor worker have a NFT independently, DeFi, right? but log in like how hard or how bad they work so that not only like amazon factory have their data but if i'm a if i'm a um retailer store my own and i have 20 workers and i want to hire best worker i'll look at their nft and like yo you never late you never miss a day you work last five years for 15 dollar hour i'll give you 30 hour and work for me you know like yeah, that's that that's cool. that's like, really that. it's like really life-changing for like millions of people because like one thing about like manual labor is that the people are not stupid it's the work is stupid so so if you empower those people that like if you work hard somebody gonna recognize you Cause that's all people really need. Like if somebody to recognize that you're doing a really good job or like, or, or, or applause, like you, you're doing great. Like I, I recognize that. Like, that's what, like, you know, on some real shit, like people needs that more than money. I agree. You know? Yeah. And I think hundred percent more valuable for sure. Like, yeah. But you know, in a few 15 million or 20 million or, or the, or the day or labor worker that this country has, like if they, if like 10% of these people can like realize that can happen, then then we, we probably going to have like so much better society as a whole. My wife easy. is like, what the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Did she disagree? No, she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, mean, you you just saying no, our like, label. What are you talking about society? Like, what is it? <laughs> In deep. <laughs> hey, it's blockchain, man. As deep as you want, you know? Yeah. With everything so open, like, it kind of makes it impossible to have shallow conversations. But you, you, oh, this, you have to have a one crazy person first. 
Because never start from two. It has to be one crazy guy first. And then everyone going to look at this person and say, hey, he crazy, man. Get away. Stay away. And then, but, you know, in time, somebody going to be like, yo, you're so cool. I want to be crazy with you. And then it's two. And then it's going to be unstoppable, you know. But somebody got to talk about it. Yeah, I feel like that's what, like, most of the NFT spaces. <laughs> yeah, we're crazy, right? Yeah. Definitely. I don't know. <laughs> but believers, I guess. Like, it's weird. There's, like, digital digital world never got me excited this much as, as like, a blockchain technology. Because, like, it's not really it's not really dealing with the real people blockchain is dealing with like the future yeah like virtual society basically it's kind of like discovering a book like or like or like making creating a book it's a many technologies too right because you have to have a paper then you have to have a writing technology you have to have a words you have to have a printing technology to make a mass amount right you have to have all this to make a book, right? Blockchain, same thing. You have to have electricity. You have to have programming. You have to have language set up. You have to have this network all set up, right? Then, then we have NFT. So imagine thousands of years ago, you're the first one to be like, wow, what is this thing? And then be like, yo, this is called book. I'm like, what? Book? How it work, right? And you're like, it's like our planet. You have to like, take all the steps. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, look, you you know how to read? I'm like, yeah, I know how to read. Like, you open up, and like, oh wow, these are all the words, and then like so many words in this small thing, right? Because it's every page of so much information, and and imagine that first guy to have it, like hold it, or like first time you've seen it, like you never seen this before. You only seen writing in the stones and shit. And then they all of a sudden you got like this thing, and then you have the whole story. Right? Imagine showing them the book and then the next thing you do is like bring a laptop with like wikipedia or something and like yeah. open up to google that would be like just to your mind explosions that'd be pretty funny so yeah i'm sure people back then who write stuff they are like just like us now like hey i'm gonna write this no for not just for people to read it now, but like when I'm dead or like in 20 years, they still gonna have my book, right? Or like, cause I'm, cause I'm creating it for like the people, for people and, and, and people I don't know or don't even exist gonna read my book. How is, yeah, and like know, a lot how exciting is that weird. for people mm. back then, you know? Yeah. Just to, just to be able to do it. I mean, we couldn't even have a Bible without that technology of a book. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, we, we create something that it's always allow people to do more stuff. So we need smart people and the creative people together so that smart people can make, create technology and then the creative people can use it, right? So. But yeah, and, and as they use it, like, come up with different ways that it could be used and sort of like, I feel like the creative side often is what pushes no the, like, tech side forward um, just by, like, asking for things that are impossible and eventually somebody gets sold on the idea and knows how to do it. <laughs> Hey, Shanika, listen to me. If you told me, if you told me that I'll be, I'll be, I'll be providing liquidity pool with my music, that it's NFT backed by token, I'm going to be like, you are a crazy person, man. I don't, one, I don't even know what the fuck you talk about. And two, no idea. <laughs> it sounds insane, right? But it's like, that's what I'm doing right now. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Like I bet just want you, you like five years ago and told you that you, you tell me I'm crazy and that I'm speaking nonsense. <laughs> yeah. 
I probably so, do this. But you. listen, future is gonna. Everyone's gonna have this, man. I'm I'm not I'm I'm excited about this right now, but like I'm more excited about like how what it will be like what I'm doing now if if everyone does this like what will happen like it's insane like crazy right it's it's like you know how you know how society created currency and money to 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 trying to bring the order to the society so that we don't like kill each other right so we we like we create this thing called the economy so that we will behave each other and, and sit in together and work together because we have this goal of creating making money so that's the or that's why we have this currency system like but it's it's like a better version of it think about it right because we each other have a value, right? Like our, yeah. my, I got value for me, and then my values up because I'm associated with you, him, her, them, right? And then they have each each have their own value too, but their value is evaluated by who they're associated with, right? And then it's it's insane. Like I, my brain can't. Like I want to see that world. I really want to see that world. Yeah, it's really cool because, like, rather than, like, when money was first invented, I feel like it was more of, like, what you're saying, like, a, it was a way to shape a society, but it was, yeah, like, originally more of, I, I guess I'd say. It's a trust, right? Shape like, a, like, it this is, like, it's a, a it's a trust. It's a, tr it's a trusting. Like, this, we both believe this has a value, right? You and I know dollar has a value of one dollar, right? because we are we're educated right so so this is how shape their society like this is how we've been shaping our like human society for thousands of years like it's not just up to me or you or our parents or their parents like we've been doing it for so long so so this is like this is gonna be changing a lot of shit so it's you know i i like it some people are not gonna like it though yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how it'll affect like Yeah, me too. The cool. in America and like like there's there's so much government um, yeah. that could be yeah. like streamlined with, with NFTs. Yeah. But a lot of like verifying that things are really what people say they are. And that's like what the government sort of does for everybody is says what's what. But it's it's gonna help those it's gonna help those wholesale people like you know we call it government but they all they're pretty much like treating people as a whole right but it's gonna help them because imagine if if you're a government that don't have to worry about money part <laughs> imagine that's like so easy <laughs> it's it's like most of the work you don't gotta do nothing like just make yeah. sure people don't kill each other like, like I feel like there are people who are like worried it'll make them lose control but i feel like if anything it'll just make them have to do less work yeah and then it's it's, it's only making regular people like it's only making civilians like ev every one of us work harder if anything because because we can prove that we did that work right we can prove that i did that like this all this why this why i make music every day on discord just just so that like I'm doing it like I, I did it like I have a record of it right and then so people do that like if somebody if somebody a banker but also love painting in the weekend and then that person have thousands of painting they should be recognized right like there's another way that that person can like express themselves like and and we all should be practicing that this like because it it's we're not there so we gotta practice. Whoever believing in it, we we should do it. Like we should mint stuff. We should try to produce our own NFT. You know, like do something. I don't care if you're not creative. But I don't care. Just do something, right? Take a picture of something because everybody got a phone. Like they can take pictures, right? So I don't know. Yeah, everybody can, like. Even if it's something small, any contribution makes a difference. 
yeah, it's much better than social media because social media is, it, this is different. This is different because your, your work is actually recognized. So, yeah, that's it. I'm looking right now to see, um, would you be down to do a giveaway for everybody that is still here with us? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm down, but what I need to do. <laughs> Like no, I, I have, have NFT over here. Well, I just send you the NFT. No, you're good. I have uh, I have some Yoshi miners that I'll use. Oh yeah, yeah. I can I can send you um Yoshi coins on the way or something. I'll after this I'll like send you a bunch and then maybe you can like do the giveaway on Twitter or something. Okay, yeah, and um, if something works with a giveaway wallet that I think will be pretty fun for that yeah how many people are watching right now um 25 oh wow thank you guys love it we we went on the, on the deep deep um <laughs> philosophy talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm crazy like that we can go deeper though <laughs> yeah there's more to talk about. i could talk about government forever Maybe yeah. not on my because <laughs> you know we can talk right. about space and time too. This is the next time. Yeah, <laughs> I love that shit. And then religion, we'll get all the <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll go all we'll get it together, right? You know, if you take the um, if you take the fact that we have a mass space and a mass, if we don't have space and a mass, we're all in one spot, right? <laughs> there's no time. This time doesn't exist. There's no no mass, no space. That means we're all in one space, one spot, all of us. Yeah, I mean, like. Kind of crazy to think about. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, singularity. That's what it is. Yeah, it, like it all fit in one spot. <laughs> it, there's no space, man. So there's there's no no space to fit in. We are we are one being, right? So. We have four entrants so far. Anybody else want to get in here? <laughs> People don't want the miners from me. It's fine. I mean... You do this all the time, or...? Uh, we do it a decent bit. Um, I think the uh, the five people that are in here are going to be pretty happy with their, their odds. <laughs> yeah. When um when I can um produce some music for your collection or something, we should do that. Yeah, and then um, I need to get my friend into NFTs because he actually makes music. <laughs> yeah, we'll do get him in the Yoshi Drop Discord. Yeah, I need to get him on Discord. It that has been like, in terms of like friends I know in real life has been the biggest um like restrict communication getting them into nfts yeah and they just they don't want to get on discord which i'm like you're on instagram and cool oh yeah because discord is like a school thing isn't it school makes you go to discord all the time right i guess now i i always use discord just for gaming growing up so like, yeah i love because it, it was <laughs> Like, you, like like regular civilians don't want to go to on Discord. They just want to look at the Instagram. Yeah, right? but Instagram's down right now, so come to Discord. <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Listen, the Instagram and the Facebook is down, so that like everyone is flocking to Twitter or something. It's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I, I didn't yeah. know that. What are they down like for a reason? Right or now. No, I don't know. 
like I think I think they have to do something. You know, you have to turn take it down sometimes. YouTube yeah. goes down sometimes too. It's a little bit scary to think about how less of a service or like one or two companies we use or internet use. Right? It's a little scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Because it's only Google and, and Facebook. Like, if we take out Google and Facebook internet service, like, it's nothing there if you're regular people. Like, we got blockchain, we got Atomic Hub, we're good, but. <laughs> but I mean, like, imagine if internet were gone, we wouldn't really have. They can shut it down if they want to. You can, there's a switch that you can shut down internet. Insane. I think we're good to run this with eight people. They have a really good odds. Uh... Huh? Wait, you you make all this graphic? It's dope. I like it. Uh, this is uh this is critter crap. Oh, it's like a select the people, like it's like a raffle service or something. Yeah, it's like it it it's a little mini game. Um it's hard to explain. You'll see You'll see when we get into it. Oh, cool. I like it. So they have to try to survive, and there's like moves that everybody can use at the top. Um, <laughs> try to the spikes that are oh, through. it's funny. It's insane. So cool. And then, like, as the streamer, I can join, and I guess anybody could do this command, but I find it yeah. unlike well, unless the, the streamer, but you can uh, explode your. Uh, grub fish to try to take out yeah. other grub fish. You know, Shanika, I was thinking um, about NFT space while I was talking to you. I think I think where is um, big money or like opportunity is um, centralized NFT white mm -hmm. label service that that uh, doesn't doesn't. It's not marketed towards mass consumers. I think that's where um, that's where that lot of opportunity is gonna go. Yeah. Who won? Uh, let me try to say this. Uh, two thousand Cavarissimo. I hope I said that right. I feel like I did. Nice. I love this. That's cool. I'll show you after. We'll uh, I'll do another. So after everybody enters, you can take uh, top 24. If there's more than 24 people, you can take everybody and then enter them into a dance off. That's <laughs> so crazy. Holy shit. Oh, that's so sad that they get killed. <laughs> right off the bat. Like, I don't want to get killed. What are these things? It's like a mushroom? Yeah. I think they have... I love... You might not remember. I, I love mushrooms. Wow. He won. Shock Jones. Trying to pick with the send them. The Doc Jones won. Yeah. Doc Jones look like uh, he's poisonous. Yeah, they all look poisonous. He's leaking from his mouth right now. <laughs> yep, I think I think almost all of the uh, the characters they have leak from their mouth. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Always a green color is like, like associated with black in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks toxic. Yeah. Good. Yeah, but um, Yoshi drops. 
we're gonna um have a lot of artists rolling in you know um i'm trying to build this tour touring model that works for independent artists um trying to onboard more uh, mainstream artists talking to a bunch of managers and you know um i'm a label myself so i'm talking to uh, label guys all the time but so little too much too much for them to handle at the moment <laughs> But let's see. Let's see who's a believer, right? So I feel like it like is not something they would like at all. Like, I mean the labels, artists? NFTs. Yeah, no, because yeah, because um because they don't know, that's the main thing. You know, they can't yeah. they can't dip the toes in where where they, they don't know about, right? And um Large labels are banks, so well, they're fiat people. So you know, I'm sure there's a lot of hurdle. You know, NFT is a crypto, so crypto don't use it type stuff. Yeah, but you know, for not 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 for music label, but everybody else too. Like if you if you are at the large company, it's always hard to just be one person to just uh, vouch for something any project right it's hard you know yeah you can't just be one person say i want to do this like no matter what like how big the company is like you can't just do that because it involves so many people so especially that part like the currency thing that's that's ridiculous that's the part that like no one wants to talk about right Cause it's not like about signing artists. It's not about none of that. So, um, the large labels are using it though. You know, Top Shot, right? Top Shot has this thing, um, avatar service. I forgot the name of it, but large labels are trying to do something like that too. I think, but um, yeah, just driven by um money i guess like how much money the company has like the nft like if any nft company raised like 250 million or 300 million dollars then then that's like a goal sign for labels because that's involved not just them but publicity people pr people because we know this because pr people may made it known right unless they made it known we don't know so so that costs money and then they they being fed PR people being fed so that major companies gonna go after so it's a lot of different way to go about it I think you know because campaign and PR and marketing is very expensive so so yeah but Wax is doing a good job yeah I think Wax is doing a really good job it's yeah i'm just excited. i think they know their market they're not trying to go yeah i'm they're not they're not trying to go like some something that they're not so that's what i like about that yeah and i feel like they're like like they've definitely been learning their market as well as as it's been progressing like if people demand something eventually it it like gears do turn and stuff actually changes, which I think is always a good sign. I think sign. they're smart. Yeah, I think they're smart to position themselves like number 90, 100 or something, 100, 120 place or something because I uh, because when it comes to IRS or tax and all that stuff, they're going to go after Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're going to, they're not going to even think about WAX. So yeah, they're gonna go after like the top. Yeah, 100. I think they're smart. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, when crazy stuff happens, wax is gonna be left alone, and we're gonna rise with the craziness. Because money is gonna re, reshop. Which, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, for now, we're just trading cars. Like we're just trading cars. <laughs> it's making people points, right? So you know i like it we're not it's trying fun. to be we're not trying to take over the world yeah it's fine 
like right we're making music right trying to be hippie out this way right wake and bake over that way right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's good <laughs> yeah good good and niche market until now until it's not you know yeah i'm interested to see how many of like the sort of i guess i'd say like og wax um uh like general occurrences if if they stay as more people come in or like, i don't know like, they're gonna have to reinvent themselves so like mm -hmm. i am you know they're gonna have to reinvent themselves i think i think we're gonna see a lot of og people jump out of the wax and then trying to make their own token but it won't be as successful as they think you know um i think i think the way wax is going i think wax is gonna do really good job like creating like a points or like a membership type of um type of system like imagine whole like any any members is sam's club or something imagine it's a card but also nfts too right imagine if wax is allowing walmart to like hey we'll, we'll just build it for you no money we don't need, <laughs> we don't need money to be able to do it you know what i mean you know but be you pretty know, easy, you know, easy like and then it can be it can be centralized because people don't need to know people just gotta know this if you flash this phone to the fucking barcode, it's gonna read, and then they're gonna they're gonna know you have that membership, right? That's all they need to know. Don't have to be in it. They don't need to know it's NFT and all that, right? So, but if if the Walmart have a deal with Wax, they're gonna make so much money. You know why? Because think about think about how many points people don't use. Let's say you're Walmart, right? And then let's say you got ten million membership. And imagine 50% of the points is not being used, right? Yeah, you can't do anything with them either. Like most of them, terms of service prevents you from selling them. Exactly. But it's DeFi, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we OG people are going to know how to... Um, take the points or it wax. Listen, if you're wax and then you can move the points, you, you cut million dollar coming in every month. Cash. Yeah. Cause you know, no one's using it. You know, banks makes money like that, you know, based on the people don't take out the money, you know, or like die without the family. And stuff. There's a lot of it, you know? So yeah. I think once wax get into that type of anything points, something membership, anything, and then they're going to be super successful. Yeah. Cause so, so many, that type of business should be NFT because it's easier for everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's how I feel about like all video games that offer like digital upgrades in their game. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. They don't want you to defy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I've always been a huge fan of like trading in game items, but it's always a pain. And like the number of scammers is worse than it even is on blockchain because like it's a lot harder to tell the difference. I mean, blockchain is definitely a threat for like Sony or like. Like a lot, like a lot of Japanese entertainment companies, I think it's a huge threat to them. I mean, Sony could Nintendo. Like, they have their own like point system for the shop, and same with Nintendo. Like they could use their own like token for selling their own. Like for they don't want to defy it. They don't want. They don't want those points to be able to resale. Once they get their yen or dollar, they want to keep it. Yeah, but I mean, like, and everything in the ecosystem. <laughs> but it's it's a threat for them because it's people is like once game creators listen one or two really famous game creators or up and coming people or their disciples say, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna build blockchain games for the rest of my life. 
and then everybody gonna go there because it's not listen you can't you can't just have thousand regular people and make amazing product it's always like you gotta have one or two amazing person who just can't like other people can't compete that's how she goes right so like if that person say hey fuck you guys i'm gonna do blockchain and then like sony and all of a sudden sony and nintendo and even like microsoft like hey wait a minute how much money do i need to spend to buy this guy out right happens yeah. all the time happens all the time b like label do it all the time to same thing too like if this label, this independent label getting too big then we're gonna buy it. like not even too big like even like they hit million revenue they hit like milestone like they something to look at because you know then, then soon they're gonna be they don't need a label right if they, if you if you're a team of 10 making 10 million why you need a label right you got the yeah. pr person that costs a million a year and then you have a team of three and then hire people seven people like like you know there's so many so many independent labels like that so but it's hard to like keep going though you have to like because it's not lab like dealing with label it's not like you lose in the game it's just a like, just, just different level right you can own one house but then you can own ten thousand houses, right? Different level, <laughs> right? Entirely, yeah. And that's like most corporations nowadays are like ten thousand companies in one. Yeah, exactly. So think about all the layers we got. If what what we're talking about, that that part worries me. You know, like I said again, like because it's not about me making music every day, then because it's linked up. But it's a necessary way to uh, do it. But I feel like <laughs> I feel like people should be using more of it, you know. But it's hard. Everybody, yeah. everybody living in the fiat world. Yeah. And it's yo, Shanika, listen. It's not like I don't want to live in the fiat world. I just want to make my music on NFT and then still be successful. But I, you, you can't have the both way. You can't have that part to be successful. And then fiat to win, and I make a lot of cash. So you can't do it. Yeah, I mean, I just want to be able to play my games and sell my assets. Exactly. Thank you. And then still, don't you don't get our 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 woman mad at you or mad at us, <laughs> right? Somehow keep them happy, right? And then, and then we just keep playing video games or make music. Yeah, and finally convince my parents that. Video games aren't a waste of time, and I can make money. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they won't believe it till you buy them a house. Yeah, <laughs> you buy them a house, and they say, "I love you, son." I always, I always knew you could do it. <laughs> I feel like I need to try to like buy their house. Yeah, be <laughs> like, like buy, buy them a retirement house in Arizona. Be funny. Uh, all right well i think i should go soon man thank you for yeah, talking to me man. Like over an hour yeah, yeah. thank you for, uh, thank you for coming on stream it's always fun amazing talking. thank you let's do it again this is fun yeah let's let's talk about more music next time no philosophy yeah right. see uh, right now. we can make some music on stream right. oh yeah let's do it all right see you later yeah. all right see ya thanks everybody for showing up have a good day